Hello everybody, welcome to a new episode. Uh, our first episode with multi-video capture uh, windows where I'm hoping to introduce you to our new product called the Magenta. If you are not aware of this product, this is an analog to digital fight stick, mostly designed for the fighting game community so that uh, people who are playing fighting games can create customized mappings and sensitivities for different characters or different games. We'll get into a little bit more detail. For those of you who know about it, thank you so much for following along. For those of you who in, were involved in the pre-order, thank you so much for your support. We are very excited about the feedback we've gotten. We are incredibly excited to see this hit the market now uh, in full force and uh, kind of the effects and what we're gonna see happen over the next three months through the main tournament season. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it and talk about some of the things that you'll be receiving with your pre-order and go over some of the basics of the stick. There are gonna be some more detailed videos later, so I apologize if I go over this as just a cursory overview, but I wanted people to have an understanding of what they're getting. So uh, to start off, this is the Magenta. It is on a JLF base, but the only thing that is uh, from the original JLF is the pivot, the plate, and then the body. And we'll go over some of the changes and why they're important. So when you get this in, you're gonna notice when you turn it over, uh, kind of one of the main things is there's no micro switches. This has a custom uh, plate here on the bottom that has the Hall Effect uh, system as well as the processor that allows you to do the translation to go from the analog field over to the digital outputs. You're gonna notice that it has the standard JST NH header right here. This is uh, similar to almost every fight stick that you uh, would plug in, whether it's a Simitsu or a Sanwa, but this gives you a normal output for a uh, standard fight stick case. The headers that are a little bit different that you probably don't recognize, we have a power connector over here. The power connector is duplicated, so it's got a five volt and ground on each one. And then there is a header here for the uh, a remote mode button. Uh, the remote mode button allows you to control the different modes, and we'll get into that in more depth later. When you receive this, uh, you're gonna receive two harnesses with your order. The first harness is actually the power harness, and you'll notice this has a three and a two pin uh, JST PH header. For those of you that have TE2 sticks, this is literally plug and play. Plug the two pin into here, plug the three pin into the power header on your TE2 board, and you're ready to go. The other harness here is actually the mode switch uh, harness. So you'll notice that there's two uh, 110 uh, headers here. Those are for a remote switch, and then there's two crimped endings here. These are actually PH inserts. Uh, we did not put them in a, in a fitting. So we don't know what people are going to, what form of LED output people are going to use, but these provide a five volt and a ground switched ground source. So you can tell what mode you're in and switch without opening your stick. So the other thing that you'll notice here is there is a mini USB. Note, this is a mini, not a micro. So in order to hook this up to the computer, what you need to do is you need to actually have a mini USB cable. When you first plug this in, we'll go through some of the software later, but essentially you're going to hold the mode button down, plug it in by USB, and the software is going to start up and show you the window that you can actually see above me right here. So what that window does, is it shows you the placement of the stick. So as I move the stick in different directions, you'll notice the black dot goes out. When it hits a section or a slice of the pie, it lights that up. That means that that digital output is turned on. So in this case, that would be up. Now, let's say that I accidentally jump way too often, and so I don't want to make the up as sensitive. And so now I've got a lot more tolerance where I have to go a lot further and move the stick a lot further in order to hit the up direction. You can take this out till it's almost at the gate. You can do this with the up right and the up left. And so now it's almost impossible for me to accidentally jump. I have to actually really try to get the stick out to these corners. You notice that when I move the stick, it moves in a square pattern. This is a square gate stick. And no, we do not have other gates at this time. There are plans to do them in the future. However, because of the sensitivity and the precision of this, it was we felt that it was best to start out with a square gate. And these are not currently switchable. These are a molded Delrin. So um, basically, uh, this is uh, these are the controls that you have. You can notice that I can change the cardinals, change the diagonal sense, uh, sizes. I can also change everything all at once. You can go down to a simple control setting where everything moves together. Or you can go into the more complex. And now I have complex controls. The other things that you'll notice here are the output map. Now, for those of you that can't remember which wires go in which order, the output map actually allows you to have all the different, con all 24 configurations you could possibly have for output. You can also rotate slight this slightly. This is for a slice or a hook. You've got uh, fine rotation, which can move to the right or to the left. 
So that actually rotates just slightly uh, on the on the stick when you're moving it. And then you can enable and disable the, the cardinals and the diagonals, which for the fighting game environment uh, isn't necessarily the most important thing. A couple other things to note, it does allow you to save different profiles up here, um, and you can store up to four profiles, and then you can export those profiles. What we're really hoping to see is people share these profiles. So finally, uh, stuff that's gonna come in the package, you're gonna see a full set of springs here. So you've got a variety of springs and tensions that you can play with as well as an Allen wrench for disassembling the stick, which we're gonna go over in detail in a future video. We're super excited to see how this does. We think that this is gonna be a big fighting uh, tournament season and we're really looking forward to seeing everybody at events, explaining this and letting them try this out in person. Feedback from the beta testers has been amazing. They've been really impressed with the increased level of execution that they're seeing when they're getting their players optimized. Another interesting thing uh, that you can imagine is kind of fun, if you're coaching players, you can actually see what your player, what the person playing is doing, not just an up, down, left, right, but where in that field they are. So are they just at the edge of an, uh, a right movement and you know almost in a diagonal? Or are they right, right in the middle of the area? Are they riding the gate the whole time? Or is there something that's more precise just going over to an area and sitting there right in the middle of it? Anyhow, if you have any questions, let us know. We're super excited about this. We're really looking forward to getting some more feedback and uh, seeing how this affects the, the tournaments over the next three months.